What's going on all my new current and future ride tour drivers and passengers out there? Welcome to the channel. Before I get started, if this is your first time here and you find the content helpful, entertaining, or otherwise, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell icon. That way you can get notified when I come out with new videos. If you want to sign up to become an Uber driver and have a bonus guarantee automatically applied, sign up with that link in the description below. If you're an Uber driver and you forgot to do that when you first started driving because, let's face it, you didn't know anybody, you never used anyone's linker code, you might still be in luck, so follow those instructions I have in the description below and potentially have a bonus retroactively applied today. Now, today's video, guys, I am talking about Uber is preparing to deactivate Uber Select. That's right, guys. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, whatever, you know, I don't drive select anyways. It doesn't matter. And you know what? I don't drive select either, thankfully, because I was smart enough to not buy a high-end vehicle to run with Uber and Lyft with. Okay, let's just face it here. I mean, even though the rates are higher, it's, it's still not worth it. Okay, because then you have a more expensive vehicle that you are depreciating and putting miles on and, you know, having people get in it and mess it up and everything else. Which you would like to think people that, you know, order higher end vehicles aren't like that, but it's not always like that, okay? <laughs> now, this says, as of July 2020, July 31st, 2020, Uber Select will no longer be available. And I'm also making this video to hopefully any new drivers that uh, potentially come up, do not go out there and buy a brand new higher end vehicle, okay? I mean, technically I say don't buy a new vehicle at all to do ride sharing because it is just not worth it. You are actually losing money. If you're going to go out there and you know, you're doing ride share, have a used vehicle, you know what I mean? Preferably a paid off one already. If you know, if you had that luxury or, you know, something semi new, but still qualifies to be able to do what you need to do. Me, myself, I have an Uber XL. I have a van, a Toyota Sienna 2015. You know what I'm saying? I bought this. I did buy this brand new. It had like three miles when it came off the line, but, and now I got like 50, 60,000 on it. So yeah, I did. Did I use it all that for ride share? No, I did not. But this is exactly why I tell people, please do not buy a, a new vehicle at all to do any kind of ride share. Now the higher end up there with select and black and everything, that used to be a big thing. Like, you know, five years ago, pretty much right before I joined on. But as I've noticed since I've been on, um, back when the rates were like $2.25, and that's just for Uber X, things were a lot better. But then as you could gradually see everything getting worse and worse and worse, you knew, or, you know, should use common sense if you had it, to not buy a higher end vehicle. Okay, a lot of people would even say having an XL vehicle isn't worth it, but I beg to differ, and I prefer XL just, I, I don't, I, I just like it better. You know, you get a bunch more people. Most of the time you get better tips, but I also have an XL vehicle for the simple fact that I got four kids. Okay. I need a vehicle that gets to transport all my kids around. And we all know these are our personal vehicles. So that is why I chose to use my XL vehicle for doing ride share. Now I know a lot of people back in the day, they did buy all those nice Mercedes and everything else. So they could do select and black. Well, that time is coming gone. And now with Uber Comfort, as soon as they introduced Uber Comfort, everybody knew, uh-oh, what's going to happen? Something's getting phased out. They don't need all these platforms. And why in the world are passengers going to order an Uber Select when they could just order an Uber Comfort, which is cheaper than Select, and still have space and room and everything they need? You know, you tell me, guys. It's a simple fact of uh, why do a lot of people choose Uber Pool? over uber x simple fact it's cheaper a lot of people are cheap okay and they're going to go with the cheapest option um some of them do it and don't even realize it and that's why they get pissed off and like oh you're picking up people like yeah you ordered uber pool you know i gotta stop and pick up other people if you wanted it you know your way should have ordered a better ride that's just how that goes it says based on feedback from drivers and riders we're making changes to the premium ride options available on the uber platform we learned from drivers that the Uber Select product is too similar to other available ride options, aka Uber Comfort. And I wonder why it's too similar for the simple fact of they made it. They created this. They knew exactly what they were doing. Additionally, fewer riders are choosing to use Uber Select. Of course, as I said, 
Why pay for a more expensive ride when you could potentially get the same exact vehicle at a cheaper price? That's what Uber Comfort is. You pretty much get a, a decently higher end vehicle that has more room for everybody at, cheaper, at a cheaper rate. Sadly, my van no longer qualifies for Uber Comfort because it is not a 2017 or newer, which I mean, they've lost their minds. The 2015 and 2017 are no difference at all. The, the, the 2017 Sienna does not have any more room than my 2015 Sienna, but it is a newer vehicle and that is what they're trying to get people to do. So please, again, guys, I'm strongly recommending anybody out there that's already doing ride share, you think about getting a different vehicle, do not go for the high end because it is not going to be worth it. Okay, in the end, you will be losing money to run these rides. And personally for me, instead of them getting rid of Uber Select, which, I mean, they could anyways, they need to get rid of Uber Pool. I don't know any driver that likes to do Uber Pool. And I'm sure when they sit there and say, we learn from drivers that the Uber Select product is too similar. Well, Uber X, Uber Pool, you know, they are pretty similar. Uh, what, Uber Express Pool? Why don't they get rid of that stuff? Right? Isn't that the too similar to Uber Pool? You know what I'm saying? They like to pick and choose what they want to decide um, to use as feedback from drivers. So please, guys, make sure you're giving them the correct feedback. Even though, in the end, I guess we're never really going to know what they're going to do with it. They just decide what they want to do either way. It says, with this in mind, as of July 31st, Uber Select will no longer be available we're committed to providing an excellent experience for all drivers and riders, and we appreciate your patience during this transition. Of course they do. I mean, it's not like we have a choice or anything, right? And again, I'm sure people will be out, be out there and be like, you know, why do I care? Well, people need to know because I don't want anybody jumping on the platform, buying a brand new vehicle or a higher end vehicle, thinking they're going to make more money. But in reality, you ain't. Okay, that's a negative Ghost Rider. And yes, I have never taken an Uber Select ride myself. And... I'm okay with that. Simple fact of I knew not to spend money on a higher end vehicle. So hands down, that's how I feel about that. And I do have friends that did get into this with a higher end vehicle and they were not too happy about this. So this says, you can continue to drive on Uber Select through July 31st. Your ability to drive and earn through UberX won't be impacted by this change. Well, in a way, technically it will be because... Now your higher end vehicle is going to be forced to be an Uber X or Uber Comfort only. And you ain't going to be making a lot of money. You're not going to be making the higher end money that you should be making with a higher end vehicle that has, you know, higher maintenance costs. And a lot of people are not going to be happy with that at all. But sad to say, there's not a whole lot you can do. Actually, there's nothing you can do about that. Okay, my best advice is if you have a higher end vehicle right now and it is still worth any kind of money and you are doing Uber, Lyft full time, anything like that, even though I highly recommend you don't do this full time. But if you are because you have to and your circumstances, you know, dictate that, I highly suggest you trade in your vehicle for a more practical Uber X vehicle if that's what you're doing. If you want to do Uber XL, that's fine. You know, I would personally not tell anybody to just jump in doing UberX because even UberX vehicles, you know, they cost a little bit on maintenance. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it it's not as much as the Uber Select and the higher tiers, but let me tell you what, it still costs. So I would definitely highly recommend you trade in something, um, get like a Toyota Camry, something like that, which is, you know, pretty much like one of the idea top five um, rideshare vehicles out there. But I would highly suggest you no longer continue to drive around that Uber Select vehicle um, and go ahead and trade that in now so you can still get it, you know, top dollar or whatever you can and prepare for this. I mean, and personally, everyone should be trying to find other means of revenue and everything else anyways. I mean, Uber and Lyft to me personally are not supposed to be full-time jobs. And the fact that you can be deactivated at any moment, just like they can deactivate and switch terms and everything else on us at any moment should tell you guys to prepare for change. You know what I'm saying? You need to, you know, think quick. You need to do things. You need to have backup plans. That's the number one thing. You know what I'm saying? And have other revenue streams so that way you're not just dependent on this. But I just want to let everybody know. I'm sure other people are going to be reporting on this as well because this is technically a big deal. A lot of people got into this, 
you know, six, seven years ago, but they're high-end vehicles because they were making a lot more money. And then the rates have slowly been cut over and over and over. And now the high-end vehicles are going to be totally useless, except to be a high, you know, a, a fancy Uber X or an Uber Comfort Ride. So I just want everybody to know this. Uh, let me know what you guys feel about this, if you even care. Um, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. Use that Get Upside Gas app I got down there. I got a couple other uh, extra revenue streams down there you guys could check out. As always, be safe. Use common sense. And until next time, guys, Uber on or don't. Peace out.